a routine trip to the doctor for a checkup frequently turns into a prescription for a statin medication. The reason? You've got high cholesterol. Officially, high cholesterol is a sign that you are a heart attack waiting to happen. And the fix is to bring it down dramatically using a statin. The way a statin does this is it blocks your body's ability to manufacture cholesterol. But at what price? Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we count the cost and discover why statins cause diabetes as a side effect. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. One of the side effects of taking a statin is your odds of becoming a type 2 diabetic rocket. This is not something the medical fraternity are not aware of. In fact, in February 2012, the FDA, this is the organization that regulates drugs in America, issued a warning that statins negatively impact glucose regulation. They just don't think it matters. I, on the other hand, do. Yes, the number one killer of diabetics is heart disease because this is what is happening inside the blood vessels. And high sugar levels cause pretty much all the other complications of the disease too. The fact that taking a statin increases your risks of becoming a diabetic and being a diabetic makes you a heart attack waiting to happen matters. Especially when you realize cholesterol is not the enemy. Sugar is. High levels of sugar are extremely damaging to your blood vessels and to protect itself from this damage, the liver dispatches cholesterol. If you've eaten the cholesterol, it will use this. If you haven't, well, it will turn on the cholesterol making machine and make a batch. How much it makes depends on how much trouble you're in. It has very little to do with your diet and the reason is cholesterol is a band-aid for damaged cells. Unfortunately, when the cholesterol enters the war zone, it too can be damaged. This contributes to atherosclerosis and heart disease. Since High sugar levels create the oxidative stress that kickstarts the process. The battle against heart disease needs to focus on lowering sugar levels, not lowering cholesterol levels. And the two are not mutually exclusive. When cholesterol levels are too low, sugar levels increase because uptake of sugar depends on cholesterol. You see, the LDL packages being dispatched by the liver are carrying cholesterol to the cells to shore up their membranes. Cholesterol's official job description, it allows condensation of membrane lipids and rigidifies fluid plasma membranes, reducing passive permeability, increasing mechanical properties and increasing total thickness. What a mouthful. The bottom line, since animal cells don't have a big thick layer of cellulose to give their membranes form and shape, they depend on cholesterol to do the job. Without this reinforcement, membranes don't function so good. Specifically, the transporters which are tasked with moving sugar 
into the cells don't work. This is what a team of researchers from Poland found when they treated a variety of cells in the lab with statins. Broken GLUT1 transporters left the cells unable to move sugars inside. This resulted in hungry cells, which in and of itself is problematic. But in addition to being hungry, the fact that the sugars are not moving in leaves them hanging around on the outside. So sugar levels rise in the blood, resulting in hyperglycemia and hmm, trouble with a capital T. The kind of trouble that puts you at risk of heart disease. So what should you do? If your cholesterol levels are high, it's a sign you're in trouble. You've got a fire brewing, your metabolism is broken. Ignoring the problem is not wisdom, but neither is jumping in and taking a statin. You need to establish if your cholesterol levels are really high. Levels above 7 millimolar are red flag levels, but extremely low levels are not a sign of health either. They're a red flag too. When levels are too low, your membranes don't work correctly. There is a reason why your cholesterol levels are high. You need to figure out why and then address the why. And it probably has nothing to do with how much cholesterol you're eating. Diet can impact your cholesterol levels, but so do your hormones, particularly your thyroid hormone, your genetics, your environment, and the bugs living inside of you. If you need help figuring it all out, a good place to start would be to complete a body audit. And then do the little things that will help you create better body chemistry. Want to learn more? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com and browse our library or enroll in one of our free courses. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science not hype. Know someone who's struggling with high cholesterol. Share this video with them so they understand what is going on inside. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.